हेलो नमस्ते टू ऑल द वंडरफुल व्यूअर्स वाचिंग माय वीडियो राइट नाउ वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ कैंडल मेकिंग इन टुडेज ट्यूटोरियल आई विल शेयर सम बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग कॉटन थ्रेड इनटू कैंडल विक टू मेक ब्यूटीफुल कैंडल्स टुडे वी हैव अ वाइड वैरायटी ऑफ कैंडल विक इन द मार्केट एंड आई विल डिस्कस इन सम अदर वीडियो अबाउट ऑल ऑफ देम बट इन टुडेज ट्यूटोरियल वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग आवर ओन कैंडल विक टू मेक वंडरफुल कैंडल्स now other than these cotton thread i am also showing you the process of uh, preparing these uh, wooden candle wicks to make the wonderful candles if you want to purchase uh, pre prepared candle wick from the market you can do that too i have purchased it from amazon it is easily available there so you just go and purchase it from there as well if you don't want to make your own candle wick to keep wooden candle wick stand straight into the jar or into the candle we need uh, this kind of tab it is easily available mostly it comes with the uh, wooden candle wick as well and for the thread one we use these kinds of round tabs these are the basic tabs so these are the two varieties of tabs available in the market now let's talk about the thread so the one you are seeing in my hand is called as a square braided cotton thread and why it is called as a square because it looks like square braided that's why it is called as a square braided and it is 100% cotton the second one i am showing you here is the flat braided one and it is the most commonly used by the candle makers and most popular among all other candle wicks and this one is the basic twisted one so now here is the process of converting these cotton threads into the candle wick for your candle making So let's begin the process. First, I'll show you how to prepare your wooden candle wick for candle making. And for this, you need a tray and olive oil. So what you have to do, just pour some little amount of olive oil into the tray and soak these wonderful wooden candle wicks into it. Keep it soaked inside it for about three to four hours, and then later on, I'll tell you what you have to do with that. Now let's move on to the thread one. Let's convert these wonderful cotton thread into the cotton wick. Here I'm using fully refined straight paraffin wax and now I'm going to melt it. I'm also adding some amount of stearic acid into it. Now what stearic acid will do? It will give it extra hardness and strength to the candle wick. So that's why I'm adding stearic acid into it. And now this is the melted form of the straight paraffin wax with stearic acid into it. and now what we have to do we have to soak these cotton threads into it now as soon as you soak these cotton thread into it you will see a lot of air bubbles coming out from these cotton threads and you have to keep it uh, inside until and unless all the air bubbles get removed so guys here you have to understand that uh, you cannot make a perfect candle wick in just one dip like after 5 minutes when you see that no air bubble is coming out from the thread so you think that okay my candle wick is ready it is not like that you have to keep these threads soaked into it for about 2 to 3 hours at least um and in between this when you see that the temperature is going down you again heat your wax and uh, repeat the process i think uh, one or two times you need to repeat this process and uh, after 2 3 hours let's see what we have to do after 3 hours just heat uh, the wax a little so that it will again comes uh, into the melted form and then remove these thread one by one and then what you have to do is uh, hold the thread from it and please be careful the wax is still warm so make sure that you will not burn your hand and then stretch it as much as you can so put all your strength in stretching these uh, cotton strings this is the only way you can convert it into a strong candle wick repeat the same process with all the other wicks as well
after completing all this process take the cloth pin and hang these wonderful candle wax like this i'm showing you here into the sunlight for about an hour and two if there is no sunlight in your area keep it like this for the whole night and the next day you will see that how strong your candle wick is it is perfectly ready to use in your candle project this video is all about the making candle wick for your candle in the next video i'll show you how to measure your candle wick and uh, the jar to make wonderful candles so stay with me this video will remain continue don't forget to watch the second part of it bye bye